It is my understanding that since 2018, McKenzie has been prohibited for life for possessing any firearm. And further that in 2021, McKenzie was again charged with several firearms related offenses and assaulting a peace officer. He was later released on bail on a number of conditions, which included to remain in his residence and not to possess any firearms amongst other restrictive conditions. McKenzie failed to attend court in answer to these charges on September the 6th, 2022, and a warrant was subsequently issued for his arrest. As well, additional crim criminal charges were laid against McKenzie. Needless to say, the murder of Constable of Greg, the murder of Constable Greg was preventable. This should have never happened. Something needs to change. Our police officers, your police officers, my police officers, the public deserve to be safeguarded against violent offenders who are charged with firearms related offenses. Commissioner, the Adrian Gover with CTV National News. As you noted, Mackenzie was released on bail. There was a warrant out for his arrest. He had previous assault with a weapon, a grand theft auto, along with some charges. The fact he was out on bail and as a result, killed one of your officers allegedly. What is your thoughts? I'm outraged. I'm outraged by the fact that Mackenzie was out on bail and was provided the opportunity to take the life of an innocent officer. And I know that there's a lot of interest in ensuring to see that changes are made to ensure where possible people who are charged with violent offenses that are firearms related are not in those positions moving forward.